So making a forecast, uh, a seasonal forecast, we look at a couple of things. The first thing I look at, whether it's summer forecast or winter forecast, is what phase El Nino is in. And this year, uh, first off, El Nino is a warming of the waters in the Central Pacific, actually the Equatorial Pacific. And this year we've actually got a La Nina phase going on down there towards that region. That, that means cooler than average temperatures along the Equatorial Pacific. And that has a huge impact on weather, not just in our area, but around the world. And what that normally means for us, and this year we're predicting a weak to moderate La Nina, what that means normally is that the coldest air is up toward the north. Uh, you get some warmer air coming into our area, and, and we normally have a little bit less snowfall than average and normally have warmer temperatures than average for the winter. So that's one big factor. Another big factor, actually the snow cover in Siberia. We've talked about this a little bit before, how much snow is in Siberia during the month of October and how fast does that ramp up? Well, we look at that because the more snow cover, the colder the air can be in parts of the Arctic and that brings that cold air eventually in towards parts of the Northeast and into the Mid-Atlantic. So that's something that we're watching too. And along those same lines this year, that, is, uh, that snow cover is above average. So that helps us to get cold and snow. And the North American snow cover, meaning the snow cover up in Alaska and Canada, is way above where it's been over the past couple of years. So that tells us we're going to have some cold outbreaks here too. So uh, if you're looking for cold, those are two good factors. So when you take into account those, those factors, uh, you start to pick out what's called analog years. And I look back at years in the past that have had similar El Ninos, have had similar uh, snow cover, uh, have had similar uh, uh, responses to the kind of weather that we've seen over the past couple of months. So being October. So for example, this past October, an extremely warm October, how many other of those, those analog years also had warm Octobers? And what does that mean going forward? Well, this is what I came up with for temperatures coming up this winter. Now, temperature outlook in December is about average. I do think we're going to get some colder air towards the end of this month as well as parts of early December. But uh, December is going to be about average. January is the, the month to watch. Much below average temperatures, I think, in the first couple of weeks of January. And then in February... Uh, we go back to about average, maybe a little bit below before we go back to March. And March I have right now is well above average. So we're going to be, we're going to see about that. This is the most variable part of our forecast. And this is the, this is the part of the forecast that has probably has the least confidence is the temperatures that we're going to be seeing. Uh, but this is something that we're going to be watching soon. Now, snowfall. Okay. So then the big question is how much snow you're going to get where you live. And that's always the big question with our winter forecast. I mentioned the fact that uh, I think we're going to have a couple of cold spells this year. I mentioned the fact that the, the year as a whole may be a little bit above average. So that normally would bring our snow totals down. And the other factor, uh, I think we're going to get some pretty good storms in here. I really do. I think we're going to have numerous storms. And I went about average for our snowfall. Average in D.C. is about 15 inches of snow. I went 11 to 19 inches there. 7 to 12 down in our south, south, southern zones, around Waldorf, Leonardtown, maybe Fredericksburg. 16 to 26 in and around the Dulles area, over towards parts of central Montgomery County. Dulles normally gets about 22 inches a year, so we're about average there, too. And then much higher numbers back toward the west, 22 to 34 inches or more in areas like Frederick, Winchester, and Hagerstown, especially up along the Blue Ridge, too. And then when you look back towards the mountains, the ski resorts, I've got 30 inches plus here, but many of these ski resorts actually uh, get about 100 inches a year average in the mountains themselves. So I'm really talking about some of the valleys out there. But you can see from our, our snowfall map, it does look like we're going to get a pretty good amount of snow this year. And as I mentioned, January, first two weeks of January, that's the time frame I'm really watching.